I'm back here in Montremblant. Sorry for this like super awkward <laughs> pose here. Um, but I'm really excited because about three months ago, Tyler and I came to Montremblant for the first time and we stayed at Hotel Quintessence and they offered me a free stay. So we're headed back and we're gonna check out their new summer menu at the hotel. They have this nautical area that's opened up. So I'm really excited to see it. Gorgeous view. It'll look very different from when we were here a couple months ago. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this vlog. We love Quebec. We were waiting to check in and just walked across the street to the charming Montremblant village. It's so fun to ski here and I love the brightly colored facades, all the shops, the root store. In the summer there's mountain biking but I'm not into that. <laughs> and there's also pottery, rides, and lots of food. They have go-karts? I to go back here because it was so good but we're gonna try somewhere new unless we're back. I'm craving a crepe and they're so good from here. <laughs> we got mac and cheese and our usual crepe. One of my favorite sites for discovering and booking hotels all around the world is called planin.com. It's a new hotel booking site, but it's also a platform where creators like me personally have visited and created reviews for hotels with pictures, so you can really make an informed decision if you want to book somewhere. It's totally free to have an account on Planet, and you get up to 40% off on hotel bookings, and I personally book through it, so it's a great source if you also love to travel, and it's linked down below. Yeah, open that up. <laughs> I'm just touching up my makeup before we go down for a cocktail. It's so warm and sunny through this window. I have the most gorgeous view. I can see people wind sailing right now. And oh, alarm. What's that oh, for? Time to wake up for my nap. Oh, <laughs> it's quite windy out. And I got lip gloss like in my hair and then it was getting all over my face. So I just fixed that. Our room smells like um, firewood. It smells so good. I love this hotel. I wish I could live here all the time. Well, we could live in this location, but we couldn't live here all the time. And the lip combo I have on, I got this when I was in New Zealand, which was the last vlog. And this is the Mecca Max Pout Pop in the shade Glazed. Love this nude. I still have it replaced. My sunny angel's head. I literally bro broke that here in Montremblant like three months ago. Look what just happened. He's got so mangled. My cat and then he just popped off. Poor baby. It's a bit chilly. We think we're gonna wait to do that nautical section there. There's people out though. I saw one guy far out. We were over there last time. Oh, that's beautiful. Don't put that in. I will. Don't put, no, <laughs> don't put that in. We got some champagne. Enjoying it on the balcony. We have a, a, Marc, a Marc Chauvet. Merci. Mademoiselle. Oh. <laughs> no, it doesn't go back. <laughs> Yeah. 
Just had some champagne. We're gonna try these chocolates that were so good last time. Mm. Pick me one. Pick me one. Uh, white chocolate, uh, caramel sea salt. Yeah, that one. Thank you. I'll have the strawberry dark chocolate. Mm. I don't know if I would like the rum one. Yeah, I probably wouldn't either. Mm. Love chocolate. It's so windy. I just put my hair in this claw clip. Oh, windy. Winter songs. Here's our cocktails of the evening. back from dinner I have on the comfy robe it was so good oh my gosh my favorite was the lobster risotto how do you like it This is Lawless Maple Sugar, very Canadian sounding. I'm gonna leave my hair in a bun. I'm gonna make it a little bit cuter than this, but then we're headed to breakfast on the terrace and it is a little bit chilly and I didn't bring a sweater. This is a common theme. This is another gorgeous dress that I got recently. Morning views. I'm back in my cozy robe and I wanted to do a little unboxing. Oh. This is one of my favorite brands. It's called Fable England. And I gifted my bridesmaids um, jewelry from the, what's it called? Whispering Sands collection. And they sent me a couple more pieces. So let's do a little unboxing. The little Fable England. Cute. Okay, these are note cards. I thought they'd come in handy as like thank you cards for the wedding. I'll show you that in full. Aw, their packaging is so cute. Don't die camera. <laughs> I got this beautiful nautical charm bracelet. Can I do it myself? Yes. We have all these little shells, starfish. Everything's hand painted and it's very detailed. I'm a sucker for charm bracelets ever since <laughs> Massey Block and the Click. <laughs> oh, we have one more thing. PJs. Look at this. These are so cozy. I'll have to try these on. So comfy. I'll have these linked down below. I always wear this little Fiori Couture hairpiece. It helps cover when I've made a hairstyling mistake. I'm such a summer person. I think I enjoyed coming back to Mont Tremblant even more in the summer. I do hope to come back this coming winter though. Skiing is really fun and this hotel gives the perfect cabin vibes. 
I'll again have Hotel Quintessence linked down below on my plan in. We just had the best breakfast out on the terrace and we're already packing up. This is a really short trip we took here, but next up we're going to Ottawa and having a picnic with my best friend Lauren. It'll be so nice to see her before we all travel together to Italy, but that was one of the nicest breakfasts I've ever had. We're off to do the kayak. Kayak towards me. Yeah. Everywhere I look is just sparkling gorgeousness. No, I mean, I just stopped it. <laughs> they also have two person kayaks. And then these bike things, which are really cool. Red Shark. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, right? Anyway, we're just checking out. We're gonna go meet up with Lauren. Here's my little dress of the day. And we'll see you in Ottawa. <laughs> Entering Ottawa, I met up with my best friend Lauren and her boyfriend, then I went to Anthropology. I love going to Anthropology, and I was shopping for a couple of pieces for the upcoming trip to Italy. I love these, but I don't really have a place to wear them. So cute. But my favorite thing is always their dishware. Keep on watching to see a first look at my wedding dress. We keep saying we're gonna eat healthy, but then <laughs> here we are. Oh yeah. It's an exciting summer day. I am finally trying on my wedding dress for the first time. So I did this in a little bit of an irresponsible way because I literally am trying on my dress two days before I leave to Italy. So I don't really think I can get many alterations done, but it was custom made with my measurements. So I'm hoping for the best and I'm really excited to go try it on. It's been professionally steamed right from production all the way to me and it was rolled up in like a tiny air packed seal because of the timing. I would say I'm organized, but I'm so used to doing everything like with really short deadlines that I don't plan ahead enough. So I always get things like right on time, but I don't leave a lot of wiggle room. So I'm really hoping for the best. Let's go try on my freaking wedding dress. Here's a look at the mini dress and then the full skirt. I love that this is a two-in-one look and then some other last minute wedding details. My papier menus and placeholders came in as well as my Italian summer themed journal. I knew I wanted to do a DIY for part of my veil, so next up we're headed to Michael's. A final stop. I think we have everything. I'm obsessed with this French Manor collection. Sadly, I didn't do a Bridgerton look this year. I might when I get back home, but how pretty are these items? Everything's so cute and mini. We are way early, but look at this pink and orange Halloween stuff. Looking at veils last minute. I got a last minute veil. They're so pretty. It's the morning.
morning. I'm currently packing, but I haven't even unboxed these two special dresses that I bought for this trip. So let's open them. Got this like tomato red bright strapless dress for Rome. I'm changing into this when I get there. Unboxing number two. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this pattern. Look at the beautiful lace. I saw this dress and it was like, oh, I need this. I'm not a impulsive spender at all, but I had it in my cart for like two months and I was like, okay, I would love to wear this also in Rome. Do you not want me to go? Oh, he licked me. This is so sweet. This never happens. He's a biter. Good boy. I'm so excited. I didn't think this would come in time, but this is a printed postcard of our invite. How cute. This is by Sabina Fenn. She's a Canadian artist and I love her work. So cool. I'm so glad this came. And from this, we arrive in Rome. I am so excited to be a plan and creator. They also just came out with itineraries on the site, so this was a super short trip, not too much of an itinerary needed, but I will have itineraries that I created for Rome, Sorrento, Paris. These are all vlogs that are coming up. It's a super cool new site, totally free to join, and I can't wait to keep sharing reviews and itineraries coming up.